Well, this morning, the Secret Service is investigating an alarming security breach at the home of White House National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan, a home they were protecting. A man was able to get inside in the middle of the night while agents were on duty, and it was Sullivan himself who discovered and confronted the intruder. NBC's Capitol Hill correspondent Ryan Noble's got the details on this. Ryan, good morning. The Secret Service must be incredibly disturbed by this breach. Yeah, that's right, Savannah. They are very concerned, and they admit that this was a serious security breach, so much so that they're already making changes while they investigate exactly what went wrong. According to the Washington Post, this happened about two weeks ago, and that's when the man gained access to National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan's home in the middle of the night. They say he was there at 3 o'clock in the morning, and it was Sullivan who actually found the man, approached him, and asked him to leave. The man did so but still undetected. It wasn't until Sullivan himself went outside and informed the agents that the man was in the house that they learned about it. Thankfully, Sullivan was not hurt. At this point, Savannah, the White House is not commenting on this incident. I mean, just the visual there, him having to go outside and say, you know, there was a guy just in my house, and he's the White House National Security Advisor, obviously has access to some of the nation's top secrets. Do officials think that whomever was in this house was targeting him because he was national security advisor or is this just some kind of random crime savannah that part remains unclear and secret service says that they are still investigating but the post is reporting that the man did appear intoxicated and that he didn't even know where he was there was no sign of any type of forced entry there was no physical confrontation with sullivan and at no point did it appear that sullivan or his family was in any type of danger. But we should also point out that Secret Service was unable to question the intruder because he took off before they even learned that he was there. This, of course, comes against the backdrop of rising threats against public officials across the country. Of course, just this week, we saw the office of Democratic Congressman Jerry Connolly attacked by an intruder. So, Savannah, this is something that is at the top of many people in Washington's minds. Yeah, and foreign adversaries, obviously, another concern as well when you're talking about the White House National Security Advisor. Ryan, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.